Okay, Chutu. Uh, we are on the brink of starting out with our honing, okay? Uh, I haven't get my pistons yet, or get my piston rings yet because I have to hone the cylinders. Now, when you hone the cylinders, you have to get a cross hatch in those cylinders. You can't really see it too well because uh, my my camera sucks balls, uh, to be completely honest. I actually have the piston ring in that one that has to come out. Um, but this is a quick before, so you guys can see it. And uh, you can't get a lot of detail with this camera, unfortunately. But to practice, we're going to use this piece of crap block. So uh, that way I get the idea of how long it takes to get a good, decent crosshatch. And this actually had a pretty decent crosshatch when I started. But as you can see, it's kind of pitted. Everything else. So we're going to take a good look at this. Let's see what's going on. You can't tell? I already have my music going. Um, what am I using as a lubricant? Um, what I'm using as a lubricant is uh, regular ATF. Now, I had more ATF. I'm not sure what the hell happened to it. Uh, I guess now I have to go buy some, but if push comes to shove, I can use, you can use pretty much anything. Motor oil, ATF works really good because it's detergent, so it actually cleans it while it's putting in the scratches. Um, unfortunately, I can't find my other ATF, so I guess I'm SOL on that end. So if I have to, I'll use motor oil because this motor is not coming in together for quite some time. Uh, thanks to AltimoZone. Thanks, AltimoZone. Anyway, let's get started on this first Okay, one. I'm not sure I'm gonna film this for you guys. I have lights on, but you still can't really see anything. But, what I'm gonna do is just kind of show you guys the basics of the starting process of this. Uh, this is actually my first time doing it too, so you guys are gonna see all my mistakes. But, here's my ATF, right here. Here's the cylinder, you guys are sitting right on top of the block. You can barely see it, but you guys are sitting right on top of the block. We have five minutes, so we have to kind of put a rush on it. But in short, I'm literally gonna take a paper towel. Doesn't even have to be that clean, because uh, this is gonna get real dirty real fast. I'm gonna probably swap it out for a clear one later on. But, just with my hand, nothing special. I'm going to put a little bit of ATF in my hand and stick it right in the cylinder so you guys can see it's gonna leave that up oh yeah baby oh yeah make sure i get it all on the walls now as far as the tools go the tool goes i'll show you guys that one i don't want to stick the stones in there dry and i still have a good amount of atf in my hand so i'm just gonna go ahead and lube those up a little bit as well now after this you want to use clean paper towels because uh you want to see what's left in the cylinder. But, just like this, it's gonna be hard to do with one hand. I'm gonna show you guys. How much time do you have left? Four minutes, good. Just like that, close your tool, stick it in there. You don't want to rotate it while sitting still. But, once your tool's in there, wow, my hand's filthy. I'm balancing a drill on my lap. <laughs> uh, there's an open container of ATF that's waiting to spill and stain my floor. Yeah. All right, hold on. So, I'm gonna show you guys just what the honing process really is. And then we're gonna probably check this out. If it looks good after this, we're probably gonna move to the good block, so. Okay, hold up. Let me get as much of this ATF. Cause I'm holding the camera with this hand after this, so I don't wanna ruin my camera. I already did that to my laptop, so here we go. Now, you wanna just spin, you gonna go fast. Now you're not supposed to stop, you can actually stop in there. Uh, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to stop while you're in the cylinder still, while you're still in the hole. I ain't sure if you guys can see any of that. While you're still in there, and uh, after you do so, you're supposed to, uh, hold on, let's clean it out and see how it looks. Hold on, I'll bring you guys back up there. Right? So I kinda just flipped it over on its side. That's it, you can't even see it on camera. But here's an old cylinder. See if we can get a little more light in there. Camera acts like, thing freaking acts like it's dying. I just put batteries in this. Come on. There we go. Now, there's an old cylinder. Uh, here's another old cylinder. Even if I cleaned all that dust out, it wouldn't look very different. Let me show you real quick. Clean all the dust and dirt out of there. Okay. 
Actually, that's a really bad cylinder to demonstrate with. But, that's an old cylinder. Here's another old cylinder. Here's the cylinder I just honed. Good God, my camera sucks. Now, looking at it, it doesn't look very bad. The problem is, is that uh, my lines aren't um, 60 degrees. They look like they're almost perfectly swirl. You want to cross hatch like that, about 60 degrees. So, we're going to have to keep on working on this. And I'm glad I, I practiced on that one, because uh, that's better than screwing up your good block, right? Anyway, I'm going to practice on another cylinder and see how good I can get it. If I can get it really good uh, and find a way to show you guys. Okay, well this is about as good as I'm going to get it. So I'm going to show you guys the old one first. You guys can kind of see that cross hatch in there, all right? It's still a little bit dirty, but I mean, you guys can kind of see the cross hatch there. Can you? Let's see what happens if I put this in macro, hold on. Oh. Okay, now it's on macro. Ah, it is a little bit better. Wow, okay. So let's use a slightly less powerful light. Yeah, okay, well that's the good cylinder. Here's the bad cylinder. Uh, you can kind of see the cross hatch. It's dirty, that stuff's kind of etched in there. But if we move up to this one, you can kind of see the cross hatch in there. If I had a better camera, you could see it even better. But that's the kind of cross hatch that you cross hatch that you're after. You're after 60 degrees. Um, that's really not 60 degrees. They need to be a little bit pitched on there. And I really slowed down the drill and the up and down motion. No, uh, so I sped up the drill on up and down, and I slowed it down on the rotating motion to try to get a more dramatic cross hatch. If that makes any sense. Because if you're spinning real fast, you're gonna put a lot of tiny circles, almost like a thread, like a thread on a bolt, okay? It's not the way you want to think about it. If you have a bunch of little fine threads, that's because you're going fast and you're moving the drill up and down slow. Okay, like, like a corks, like, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so hard to explain. <laughs> it's really hard to articulate. But if you go up and down fast, it'll be like corkscrew effect, okay? So you'll have very few coils covering more distance. If that makes any sense. And that's what you're after, 60 degrees, like that. So anyway, I'll bring you guys back after a little bit more work. I think I'm gonna start in the cylinder so it's a bit All right, easier. So after, a closer examination of this, uh, you can actually see the cross hatch. Wow, you can actually see that. Wait, this car not actually as I thought it was. Anyway, you can see the cross hatch there. This is the new cylinder that I just recently did. Tilt is real shiny in there. Wow, great. Now this thing's acting stupid. There we go. Now, here's the old one, and you can kind of still see the cross hatch lines. You can't see them very well. Let's see if I can clean it up just a little bit so you guys can see it. Okay, you see the cross hatch in there, and it's not so uh, so uh, clean, but you can see the angles, and that's what I'm really trying to point out here, is the angles of the cross hatch are very close, if not perfect, so. It's hard to see, I know. I have a crappy camera, I'm sorry, you guys. Uh, I'm still waiting to do my mini DV, whatchamacallit, but I've been spending money on everything else, so. Anyway, I'll bring you guys back after we get started on this. In fact, this has so much better light. Let's give you guys a quick look at the inside of that. It's like you can't even see the crosshatch marks on this thing. It's like it had <laughs> a lot of miles on it. Let's just put it that way. But you can't even see the crosshatch. It's like completely gone on the cylinder. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually probably install that ring and see if the ring gap changes after we hone it and then we're gonna go home the cylinder. We're only doing it enough to actually get the glaze off of that. There's just a lot of glaze in there. Can't really see it very well. This LED light ain't helping that at all either. But there's a lot of glaze in there, and that's what we're trying to take out. We're taking the glaze out and we're putting our scratches in the cylinders. So I'm gonna get you guys set up to where you can see somehow, and then we're gonna start the process all over. Alright YouTube. It's going to be a little bit difficult to show you guys, but this is the best I could do. Um, I already showed you guys how it looked like inside the cylinder. I uh, showed you guys that there's a piston ring in there. We're not actually going to measure that gap right now, not for this one. What we are going to do is use this bad boy right here to hone it. So again, ATF. Uh, I really like the ATF because it cleans up the cylinder while it's doing this. And you don't need a whole bunch, but you do want enough to 
properly lubricate everything. Um, also, if you can, get a cardboard box and put it under so you don't see your, your driveway. So, here we go. Look familiar? Remember when I was doing this, taking the engine apart? Yeah, those were the good old days, weren't it? Weren't they? Before we knew how jacked up everything was. I think my cylinder has cracked too, so I'm a little bit depressed today. I'm not sure if you guys picked up on that, but I am. This is the second head I cracked. One with water, <laughs> one without water. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is the speed. Now, you kind of want to stop it and then pull it out, but from what I was taught, you do the scratches all the way up to the top. So, I'm gonna bring you guys over so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. Uh, my hand is filthy right now, so I can't, I can't even hold you guys right now. So, grab a rag, uh, if I were you, I suggest buying a lot of these because you're gonna go through a lot of these. But, we're gonna wipe that out. Uh, after we wipe that out, we're gonna grab our light and take a look. Now just try to get as much of that crap out. You see how it's all gray? That's actually pieces of uh, the block, so. That's why you don't wanna do it too long. I try to do it about 15 seconds at a slower speed, so it's not a, uh, it's not gonna take off too much material. Uh, the speed did kind of vary because the trigger sucks on that thing, but you guys can kind of see exactly what's going on here. So, now our light. And there are definitely scratches in there. Uh, I'm not sure if that's good enough for a piston to seat to, personally. I wouldn't say that's good enough for a piston to seat to, personally. Uh, the scratches are the right ha cross hatch. The cross hatch is perfect. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. The cross hatch is perfect on there. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. The cross hatch is perfect on there, but. Um, they don't look like they're deep enough scratches, to be completely honest with you. They look <laughs> they look like they're not going to freaking seat my pistons. Maybe that's a good thing. I'm not really sure. There's still uh, lots of contaminants in there, so let's wipe it with a clean -er cloth. And uh, see if that produces a little bit more detail. Keep on wiping it out. Yeah, it's only like 15 bucks to get this done at a shop, so 60 bucks if you have a four banger. Uh, that's from what I hear. I, I haven't really checked in my local shop, but you know, it's kind of worth it if you really think about it. Just drop it off, come back and pick it up, and it's perfectly done. And then they could tell you, you know, oh, get 20 over pistons, so you don't have to be terrified that you're going to go over. Yeah, I see scratches, but they don't look—they don't look as good as the ones that are in the old block. So you know what? We're going to do this again. Um, I'm going to bring you guys back after round two. This time I just finished round two. Grab our rag again. If you look at the ATF, it's black like oil. That stuff's all light. That stuff's all black. Yeah. So we got off a little bit more material, but I think we got off enough material to get it right without uh, having to go up to a bigger piston size. Staying in the tolerance here. So now it's time to find out exactly what's going on. Grab our extra clean rag and get the rest of that crap out. And this is just to inspect it. This isn't uh, the final uh, cleaning right here. You have to, after this, you need to wash this down with soap and water um, and make sure it's completely clean. But I mean, if you look at that, not very black there. Let's go to the cleaner part so we can see exactly. So that's, this way it will tell you, you know, what's going on a little bit better. And sure enough, that looks like a properly uh, honed cylinder right there. And it actually looks good from top to bottom. Looks pretty uniform. Now uniformity, what uniformity is, uh, wait, we'll do that in another video. We're almost out of time for this one. But that's just one cylinder. Uh, I'm gonna go back and do more, do these ones now. Um, but I'll bring you guys back after, uh, after that's done. <laughs> it's the easy way to say it. All right, you guys, uh, I'm on cylinder 
number three well that's got the ring in it so you can't really see anything but that looks pretty decent that one looks freaking fantabulous yes i just said fantabulous because it is okay um this one doesn't look as good and i went, went through it with all three of these and i've realized that my pace is probably medium low up and down for 30 seconds for each cylinder okay this one actually can be redone so the cross hatch is a little bit better because it's a little bit to uh the degrees of the of the the lines the scratches in the piston are a little bit too uh what you call they're they're almost lean they're almost uh, straight up and down um they're not straight up and down like circular they're, they're just not they're finer than the ones in this one and this one which is actually an issue because uh it stops your oil from flying through the cylinders properly and, and blow by doesn't work properly. You're, you're, everything goes wrong when that happens. Um, I'm a little bit paranoid. Uh, this, this rebuild already has a lot of strikes against it, so you know what? I'm probably going to end up just doing that a little bit more. But this one had its first pass done, and I wanted to stop real quick to show you guys. Uh, there's a really strong glaze in this car. I'm guessing this block has over 100,000 miles on it. Cause the glaze in the cylinder, uh, it's not breaking. Like, like unless I go fast and crazy, like I did with this first one, and the test block, freaking, um, it doesn't like breaking. So, it's like you gotta spend some time breaking those out. Um, 30 seconds at slow, medium pace is good. I'm probably gonna give you guys a rundown of one cylinder being completely done. Anyway, I'll bring you guys back after that one's done. I'll show you guys the last one.